What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt and today I'm going to be doing another tutorial on how to put your face cam on top of your gameplay videos. Now previously I did a tutorial on how to do this using a program called Xfire. Now Xfire is a good way to do this for free and a very easy way to do it. This method I'm showing you is still pretty easy but it's, it takes a bit more effort, not too much. It's still free and it takes a lot more time actually but not of all that is actually work it's mostly like saving the video and rendering it but it can produce better results so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to open up your browser and you're going to look for video pad video editor click on the first link and click on download now and then save that I already did that but you know you're going to want to save it and once the program installs you're gonna get this you're gonna to want to open it up and then create a new project now this area right here this is where you're going to want to uh, put any media that you want such as your gameplay video and your uh, face cam so what I'm gonna do is for some reason um, my face for I was gonna do a cat Mario but I don't know if I'm gonna ever get around to that because it was I'm not sure but um I'm going to use that as the gameplay and my face from my first Amnesia episode because the face from my Cat Mario got messed up. For some reason it wouldn't let me do it without some weird conversion that took forever and didn't ever work. So, you're just going to wait for that to go in. And then, in. and if you're wondering why I'm using uh, like the Windows basic color scheme, it's just because uh, for some reason... When I try to record full screen with Bandicam, it just always changes back to basic. I don't know why. I can be playing, like, a graphically intense game and recording, and it doesn't say anything. But when I try to record my desktop, oh, nope, it doesn't have enough memory, but whatever. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag your gameplay into video track 1, alright? And then you're going to take your face cam and drag it into this bar that says drop, drag and drop your video text and image clips to overlay here. Alright, so then this is coming up. And you're not done yet. you got to click the star on the, on the video that you want to overlay. Then this will come up. First, you want to reduce the scale. First, you want to reduce the scale a bit. So that, that makes it smaller. Then you're going to want to move. You're going to change the vertical location a bit get on the top it doesn't matter what order you do you can do the uh, left and right first too much but there we go perfect you get it lined up just where you want it and if you figure out like this looks like a pretty good spot you could write these numbers down or save them in a text file somewhere, but I'm not going to because, I don't know. I think the scale is a bit too big, covering up too much of the screen maybe, so I might change that. But now, you see everything's overlaid the way you want it, and you can uh, go and you can, if you want to make sure, you can go and hit file and then preview project, and it'll show you that everything is good. And as you can see, there's no audio for my face just because you can record your face cam in this program, which is what I did. But for some reason, it did not record my audio from my headset. Uh, so I don't know what to tell you. So what you're going to want to do now, see, if you're look, watching this video right now and saying, oh, I don't want to put this terrible quality on my YouTube channel. This looks awful. It does look awful, but this is only the preview. It specifically says low resolution video preview it's 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 all bad quality on purpose because it takes super low amount of time to get ready for you so if you want a good quality video what you're going to want to do is you're going to file and then export video then you're going to want to click on the computer slash data tab you can upload it directly to youtube but it's probably easier just to save it here that way you have it in case something bad happens anyways you're going to want to select what kind of quality you want. I usually go 720p HD because, I mean, 1080p HD is awesome, but it's not too much different from 720p. And also, 
1080p takes a hell of a long time to render. 720p does take a long time, but it's still not as long. Then you're going to want to select where you want it to save using the browse. You can pick a file location wherever you want. And then you're going to want to click create. I'm not going to because I don't want this. And it's going to create a video that is ready to upload to YouTube. Um, and that is basically it. But there are some things you need to keep in mind when using this. For example, uh, you can record your face cam in this program, but I recommend using Windows Live Movie Maker. It's a bit better quality than this. It's not really that recognizable, but for example, mine didn't catch my audio when I recorded in this, so I use Movie Maker from now on. Um, also, sometimes when you want to, you have to switch between your game, like whatever game you're playing, you have to go into your face cam, click record, then go back into the game, start recording your gameplay. And there's a little split second, or like a couple seconds, where your face is just like, you don't want it in the video, because you're not ready yet. So, you're going to want to have to take that out, and this is where the annoying thing comes in. I haven't figured out how to do that in this program, uh, which is an issue. But, I mean, how you can do it, this takes a long time, but... One thing you can do is, before you put it in this program, drop your uh, gameplay or face cam or whatever you want to shorten up or change or take parts out of into Movie Maker. Then you use the split function. You're not going to show you how to do that if you want. Um, take this and open up the Movie Maker. If you want to uh, make it shorter by splitting it... Uh, what you can do is you can find where you want to split it, right click, select split, and then you can do a bunch of different things with this. You can either completely delete a clip like that, or you can change like this part, you can make the volume lower, or make it fade in and out. And if you make this volume lower, it won't affect this part's volume at all. And you can also change the speed of it so that it moves faster, like, and I'm going to be playing this and like, see what I just did there just zooms through it uh... what else there's that's slow but whatever you can uh, add some video visual effects while you're here animations transitions all that stuff but basically the only reason you want to put it in here is to uh, shorten it up now one thing you might be able to do i haven't actually tried this yet i'm gonna actually try it now see if this works um... you can Oh, uh, yeah, you can't. Unfortunately, you can't just, like, drag the split files from here to, um, this editor software. If you could do that, it would save you a ton of time, because otherwise you're going to have to render your Movie Maker project, and that does take a long time. For my Amnesia video, I had to render, I had to split some stuff out of my face and split some stuff out of the gameplay. And that rendering, for the 18-minute clip, like, the video, it took about... 20, 25 minutes to save, maybe. So that's almost an hour before you even overlay it, and then that took an hour. So that took a ridiculously long amount of time just to, like, to render and stuff. So that's the one drawback of this, but otherwise, it's great. It's easy, and gives a good quality overlay here. And, well, yeah, that's the general... That's That's it, really. I mean... Just remember, it's called VideoPad Video Editor, and it's free, and when you download it, you might download the full version, but a 14-day trial, and when that's done, don't worry, there's a free version you can downgrade to. Just use that, it's fine, that's what I'm using. And that is all you need to know. Alright, if this tutorial was helpful to you, please like it and add it to your favorites, it really helps me out a lot. And also subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and a lot of gameplay videos including Amnesia, Minecraft, Team Fortress 2, and much more. Thanks for watching, my name is Matt from Manamoso Gaming, and I will see you guys later.